So today I've been checking out the TCL Next Wear G glasses. These things are dubbed as a wearable cinema, although thankfully they don't come bundled with fart and teenagers who Instagram throughout the entire movie. It's essentially just a secondary display that tethers up to your smartphone, laptop or whatever via USB and then sits directly on your face giving you a hands-free experience. All while naturally making you look super freaking cool. And I've got to say, in the short time I've spent with the TCL Nextwear G glasses, I do actually rather like them. There are lots of really good practical implications for them. So let's run through all of the features and I'll give you my early hands-on or rather face-on review. And for more the latest and greatest tech, please do book subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now first up, the Nextwear G glasses are undeniably chunky morphos, that's for damn sure. But they're also reasonably comfortable to wear, even for extended periods. They're 140 grams, so they won't weigh your face down. They're certainly not Nowhere near as bad as having like a VR mask strapped to your bonds, for instance, where you start to get that neck fatigue from holding your head up. The next row G's come with a very snazzy carry case, uh, as you can see. It's a well padded and protected, so it should keep the glasses nice and safe, even if you're just chucking them in a suitcase or whatever. And in here, you get some other extra bits bundled too. A snazzy little cleaning cloth to keep the uh, the actual eye screens nice and smudge free. You've got an adapter if you happen to wear prescriptive glasses. And you've also got three different sizes of nose plug as well so you can get the one that fits your schnoz the best. I've clearly got a massive nose because I had to use the maximum sized effort. And the TCL Nextwear G glasses are plug and play as you can see here. They're all cabled up to my smartphone. Unfortunately there's no built-in battery so they are just powered by your smartphone, your laptop, whatever you've got them plugged into which means that if they are plugged into your smartphone for instance that phone's battery is going to drain pretty damn quick so make sure you've got it fully charged before you get going. It's a Type-C USB connection and the next G glasses are currently compatible with over five dozen phones including lots of Samsung and LG blows, some classic HTCs etc etc, not to mention lots of laptops and two-in-one PCs. The set of process will uh, differ depending on what phone you're using. So for instance, my Sony Xperia smartphone here, when I plugged that in, it basically just immediately mirrored the smartphone display into the glasses. Whereas with my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, the smartphone actually entered PC modes and then I got a proper full-size desktop on the go on the glasses display. I could then use the phone screen as a touchpad to open up apps and do everything I needed to. And yeah, sadly, this first generation of TCL's Nextwear G glasses, they do have to be tethered at all time. There's no wireless option, but then it would need a built-in battery, and that would make them even bigger and more cumbersome. Who knows, maybe the Nextwear G2s will have that feature. As for the actual display tech built into the glasses, well, it's two Sony Micro LED screens with Full HD resolution, 60 hertz refresh rate. They're supposed to emulate a 140-inch 16x9 cinema screen. And yeah, if you're sat in a dark room, then it does indeed emulate that sort of visual experience although only if you're sat right at the very back of the cinema but certainly no real uh, complaints when it comes to the visuals you've got a nice sharp picture pretty accurate color reproduction as well and this sort of method of watching a movie for instance definitely beats holding a smartphone up to your face for like two long hours or even longer than that if you're going to be for instance on a flight or a long train journey and it's especially good if you're enjoying something that uh, maybe you don't want other people around you to actually know that you're watching. And this setup is also ideal if you're, for instance, busy working on something top secret like that hot werewolf mermaid romance novel and you don't want any prying eyes sneaking a peek. And when you're wearing these glasses, you can actually see all around you in your peripheral vision as well. So it's particularly handy if, for instance, you want to watch a movie or a show or something like that, while also working on a laptop, get a proper bit of multitasking on the go. And in fact, I did actually write all of this script while also watching a cheeky bit of Disney Plus or Netflix on the glasses. Now, there's no form of headphone jack or anything built into the glasses themselves. What you do get is dual built-in speakers, which produce a stereo surround sound effect. So no headphones are actually strictly necessary to enjoy a movie and you can still hear everything else that's going on around you as well it's kind of similar to the experience you'll get on the oculus quest 2 but unfortunately just as you can hear everything else going on around you so can everyone else who's in your general vicinity can hear everything that you're listening to. And for the latest greatest tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So again, bear that in mind if you decide to watch anything a bit dodgy. 
Or of course, alternatively, you could just hook up your smartphone or whatever to uh, a pair of Bluetooth headphones and kind of awkwardly cram those on as well. Maybe some in-ear efforts would probably work better than over-ear, uh, as you can see there. So all right, there's just a quick look at the TCL Nextwear G glasses. As you see, quite a nifty little secondary display for your smartphone. If you do want to get a bit of multitasking on the go, or you just want to go for a hands-free viewing experience, particularly handy for those long flights, whenever we decide to start doing those again. I think us Brits can technically fly to the Falkland Islands now. Uh, that's not in the, the Amber Zone. So uh, yeah, that'll probably pass the time. So what do you guys reckon? It'd be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech and have yourselves a bloody wonderful rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.